Which of the following is an absolute contraindication for physical exercise in cardiopulmonary rehabilitation? A worsening of exercise tolerance or dyspnea at rest, or on exertion over previous 3 to 5 days, significant ischemia at low exercise intensities, less than 2 mets, or 50 W. B. BP greater than 180 over 110 mm of mercury. C. Atrial fibrillation. D. Decrease in systolic BP with exercise. And the answer is. A. Worsening of exercise tolerance or dyspnea at rest, or on exertion over previous 3 to 5 days. Significant ischemia at low exercise intensities, less than 2 METS, or 50 W. Explanation for this question is. In cardiopulmonary rehabilitation programs, which involve exercise training for individuals with cardiovascular or pulmonary conditions, there are certain circumstances that are considered absolute contraindications for physical exercise due to the potential risks to the patient's health and safety. The option A describes two specific conditions that fall under the category of absolute contraindications for exercise in cardiopulmonary rehabilitation. 1. Worsening of exercise tolerance or dyspnea at rest or on exertion over the previous 3 to 5 days. This condition indicates a significant deterioration in the patient's functional capacity and respiratory status within a short period of time. Exercise tolerance refers to the ability to perform physical activities without experiencing excessive fatigue or shortness of breath, dyspnea, if a patient experiences a worsening of these symptoms at rest or during exertion over the previous 3 to 5 days, it suggests that their condition has become unstable and that exercise could potentially exacerbate their symptoms or put them at risk for complications. 2. Significant ischemia at low exercise intensities, less than 2 METs, or 50 W. Ischemia refers to a reduced blood supply to the heart muscle which can occur during exercise due to an imbalance between the oxygen demand and supply. If a patient experiences significant ischemia, as indicated by symptoms such as chest pain or electrocardiogram changes, at low exercise intensities, it means that even minimal physical exertion is causing a strain on the cardiovascular system. In such cases, exercise could potentially trigger a cardiac event or worsen the patient's condition. The presence of either of these conditions is considered an absolute contraindication for physical exercise in cardiopulmonary rehabilitation because they indicate a high risk of adverse events or complications if the patient were to engage in exercise training. In these situations, the priority is to stabilize the patient's condition, address the underlying issues, and reassess their suitability for exercise once their status has improved and the absolute contraindications are no longer present. Safety is the primary concern in cardiopulmonary rehabilitation programs, and exercise should only be undertaken when the potential benefits outweigh the risks for each individual patient.